Hello everybody, welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video. Today, I'm going to be going over a few tips that helped me to be able to get the Gone in 360 Seconds achievement. Okay, yeah, I played it with one other person as you can see here, but you know, I'm going to go over our loadouts here real quick. So first things first, we both ran Orbital Laser. Okay, my buddy here ran an Eagle Airstrike. He also grabbed the uh, 500 kilogram bomb, the nuke, whatever you want to call it. Well, I brought in a gas strike, uh, and then on top of the gas strike, I also brought in the orbital precision strike. Now, those are key. Uh, I For armor, I brought in the exterminator. Now, the exterminator is very important here because it provides 50% resistance to explosive damage. But not only that, it limits how much you get ragdolled around from an explosive. Uh, during this gameplay that we're going to start right now, you will not notice the ragdoll effect. Uh, it, I still get thrown around quite a bit. But, I mean, we both hop right in. You know, we, we kind of don't really have a strategy going here. Uh, we just jump in and immediately just get to work. We dropped in as hot as possible. Um, we decided fairly quickly that we were just going to split apart. Um, I took care of this one. Uh, I think here I'm telling him, okay, you let's go take care of this big base. And then once we spread out, we tend to move away from it. He takes care of some, we take care of others. Uh, I immediately mark the extract zone so that I know where I need to go as quickly as possible. Because like I said, it's 360 seconds. You have to get out in six minutes. So you don't have a lot of time. It takes two minutes alone just to call in the extract. And I mean, we're only doing this on difficulty six, which is as easy as you can do it in order to get this achievement, but it's still quite a challenge. I mean, just the two of us, I had been playing solo all day, trying to get this solo, and I was running the same uh, orbitals, actually, the gas strike, the orbital precision strike, and the laser. And there were a few times I got very close. In fact, one time I managed to get out but I ran the timer up six minutes and 13 seconds by myself. So if you are trying to do this solo, it is possible to do it on your own. Uh, it is significantly easier with someone else. Uh, I mean, we did this on the first try, just running like madmen, just being able to get it done. We just came in, threw down some orbitals, tried to stay out of these bases as much as humanly possible, and we were able to get it done fairly quickly. Um, but if you are doing it solo, it is possible. I'm sure if I gave it a few more and didn't make terrible throws like I just did right there with that orbital precision strike, I could have done it much faster. Uh, even here, we probably could have done it even better, but we had 30 seconds to spare or so. Uh, I mean, we did like five and a half minutes here. Not bad. But if you are going to do this solo, I highly recommend. If you are going to try bugs, I tried that quite a bit. I uh, did not play out at all. I kept getting overrun by the kangaroo jack things. I, I couldn't get away from them. I, some of you might not have as much of a problem as I do, but I hate those things. I thought bugs would be easier all up until I tried that. It was awful. Um, he, but, you know, if you are going to do that, I might suggest maybe take a grenade launcher. You can lob a grenade over, hit their, you know, spawns fairly quickly and close them up. But... Other than that, automatons is way easier. Solo with people, I recommend just staying to the automatons. It's significantly easier. I mean, there's the ragdoll. You get ragdolled around quite a bit, but it barely took any damage, you know. It's been no problem. Now, as you can see, I th did throw the gas strike. Surprisingly, it does destroy that last base. And while I'm up there trying to get that done, I do have a turret behind me. I have some hulks. And I told my buddy here to run all the way over here and call in the shuttle because we were getting pretty low on time. Like I said, it takes two minutes to call in. We have to get out by the six minute mark. He just called it in. We're at eight and a half minutes. Like we're pushing it for time. You know, we pretty much have once that thing lands, we got to get right in because even still when the timer hits zero on that shuttle, it's still got to come down, which takes some time. And I am getting thrown about by that turret. It is just unrelentless on me right now. I don't know why, but it will not leave me alone. So 
you know, you can try to wear this armor to help with the ragdoll effects, and it works to an extent. But at that turret, forget about it. It's coming after you, and you're dead. But, you know, I my whole goal right here now, I die. I, I think I die a few more times. But either way, I, I got to get through the middle of that base just to get up there. My buddy here luckily holds it down, gets me up there. I don't have to go through the center of the base. But this is where I make a crucial mistake that almost turned the game not in our favor. Uh, I go over here. I don't think it's right now, but at some point you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I messed up big time, but we came back. We obviously did it. I recorded it and here we are. But, you know, if you're going to do this, if you have four people doing this, no problem. No problem at all. Now, you may be asking, well, why are you? On? There's the mistake right there, actually. Uh, yeah. Flew off the back. Now I got to run back up there. There is, there's all sorts of walkers, heavies, you know, there is a common sample right there that I probably should have grabbed, but I didn't because I wasn't thinking I was just trying not to die at this point. I mean, we have eight seconds till this thing gets here and we are pushing it. We're right there, but so far away at the same time. But, you know, if you are going to do this with four people, I feel like you could do it. No problem. You just have to have everybody on the same page. It's pretty easy. But you are also probably asking, why did you only bring three stratagems? Well, sometimes some of the mission effects statuses allow you, only allow you to bring three. And on a lot of these Blitz missions, that just seems to be the case. And there we go. I mean, we got out just in the nick of time. We barely did it. It doesn't pop up right away. I, You know, you can see here I'm checking to see if we got it. I didn't know how, how close we were. I wasn't paying attention to the time at all. And there it goes. It just popped up. I don't have the little you know, bottom screen, but there it is. Gone in 360 seconds. Extreme difficulty. You know, it wasn't bad. It could have been a lot worse, but, you know, you, you just got to kind of go about it. I, I probably would have been harder had I not been trying it all day. And you can see the timer up there, top right, 5 minutes, 38 seconds. We had 22 seconds to spare, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot of time. It just... You know, it is what it is, but, you know, if you guys want to try this for yourself, I highly recommend it. It's pretty easy. It, you know, it might take you a few tries, just depending on what spawns, you know, what have you, but for us, it was no problem. We, Like I said, we did it first try, but again, I did it all day. I knew what I was going into. I knew what was about to happen, so I was fully prepared for it. I told my buddy, like, hey, bring this. Let's go. We got this, and, you know, we got in and did it. But, you know, thank you guys for watching. I, I hope these tips kind of help you in some way. I don't know really if they're going to help you, but you can take what I did and try to mimic it for yourself. It's really not that hard. Just don't be dumb, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you got any other tips for other people, let us know, all right? I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.